Hello and welcome to this new video in the SQL playlist. In this video, we will see how to update values in any column in a table. So let's get started. I'm using the same employees table. Let me query this. So we have this data. To start with, the first thing is this also again is a modification operation and a word of caution again. Don't try this in live environment since it will change the data. So let's say whenever you want to modify any values in any column of any row, you will use the update statement. That's what we'll come to now. To start with, let's say we have this country column and wherever there is UK, I want to replace this with United Kingdom, for example. So how to do this? Let's see. In order to update, you use update statement. Then you will use table name. So this is how the syntax is update table name. So update employees, then use a reserve word, which is set. After this, you need to type the column name. So we want to modify country, hence I'll say country is equal to whatever new value you want. Since it is a text, I will type in single quotes. So I can say United Kingdom. And then if you run this, what will happen? This is going to update the entire table. So be very careful. Again, just like delete, what you can do is add a where clause. So you can say where country is equal to UK. And then you can run this. So four rows were affected. And if we run the select again, you can see everywhere, wherever we had UK, that value got updated with United Kingdom. So this is just the basic to start. So now you would have understood if I just execute only the update statement without the where clause, it will update the entire table. And this is very, very dangerous. So if you want to see the output, now what you have done is, though intentionally or unintentionally, whatever maybe, you have ended up manipulating the entire column and the value is the same. So unless you have a backup copy of this, you cannot roll back the changes. I mean, at least for now, until we learn something new. So what I do is I truncate this table to reset. Truncate table, employees, run this query. And then I'll say insert into employees. Since I have a backup of this, select employee name, comma, country, comma, city from employees testing employees test sorry and uh, I'm not using the ID column because it is an identity field if we go back and select this I have my data I'm back again so this is how I got it back because I had the copy of it that's why I say always try in a test environment now moving on further this is the first thing, the first two things, the entire table, entire column rather, and then specific rows in that column. Now keep in mind, with update, since we are using where clause, all those conditions are possible, what we have seen in the filter example. So I'm not going to cover them again, since we already know filter. But what I want to cover is, at a sing within a single statement, you can also update more than one columns. So let's see how to do this. So I'll continue over here. I want to update the country column as maybe let's take another one. Let's say this one, the last one. So instead of US, I want to update it as USA. So I can say instead of US, I want to say USA. So I'll have to obviously put a filter where country is equal to US. So wherever the country is US, it will first filter that and then it will update and here I can add all those and or conditions what we have seen but what I want to do is same time I want to also update let's say his city both the cities cities for all of them just an example maybe so here you will say comma to update another column city is equal to and I can write san let's write in caps since we want to maintain the data san francisco so understand this syntax i'll break this update the table name then we said set 
set the country column to value USA, comma. At the same time, I want to also update the city column to San Francisco, but for only where the country is US. So by this, if I run, it has affected two rows. If you just run it again, now you'll see the country also got updated and the city also got updated. I'm just trying to show you how you can update multiple columns in a single statement. No need to write the update statement twice. And you can use all those conditions in the where clause, as I said earlier. So this is about update for now. We will also cover update with joins in a separate video. That's it in this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.